Good day everyone, Complaining Gamer here. Now, Amiibos have not been working very well in Breath of the Wild in Simu. So basically what was happening is you, you were able to use one per play session and then you had to quit the build. There's a pretty cool program that someone has made. So let's go through this together and I will show you how to use infinite Amiibos, okay? So first things first, in Simu, make sure that your input controller is set to the Wii U gamepad. Then in the game itself, what you're gonna do is just go into the options and make sure that Amiibo, use Amiibo is on, okay? Now in game, we're gonna go to our runes, our Amiibo rune and activate it. Now we're gonna go to NFC, scan NFC and pick one of our Amiibo files. Let's go with uh, Zelda. Okay, so I've already used my one limit for the day. So what we have here is a Breath of the Wild Inventory Items Memory Editor. Now, please correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Libra VR is responsible for making this. So what we're gonna do with Breath of the Wild loaded, we're gonna say scan memory. Okay, so let's just give it a second. And here we have the loaded scan. This memory editor is capable of many different things, but we're just going to focus on amiibos, okay? So here at the bottom it says Unlimit Amiibo. We're going to tick that, and literally, that's all we need to do. Now, look what happens. If we go back to NFC, scan NFC, let's go with Zelda again. Boom. Amiibo worked, okay? Let's try it. Again, NFC and Zelda. Sorry, let me make sure the rune is active. NFC and... Okay, Zelda again. Let's activate the rune. Let's try the Guardian, shall we? As you can see in the memory editor, we have a few extra options like Set shields to unbreakable, bows unbreakable, weapons unbreakable. Every person has their individual limits and my limit is just making amiibos work, okay? I'm quite happy to spam a few amiibos to get a few items, plus I enjoy the random drop. My personal focus is about getting the game as close to the original as possible and of course, on the Switch and the Wii U, amiibos work. Anything beyond that and I'm personally not interested. One thing I should say is that whenever you use a save editor, hex editor, memory editor, you take on all the risk and responsibility. So before you start manipulating any files, I highly recommend that you do a backup of your complete Simu and saves just in case you need it. As far as I know, not every Amiibo is working accurately in terms of their NFC code. However, Amiibos in general are usable. As I said, we all have our own personal limits and mine stops with Amiibos. I'm not interested in putting the game into easy mode. I enjoy the struggle. I enjoy items breaking. I've been having an absolutely fantastic time streaming this for you, my friends. So there you go. You have been warned. Any issues that come from editing are on your own shoulders. Now, of course, you could suggest save editing where you can basically create infinite items to your heart's content. However, that is not the way I want to play this game because if you start save editing and adding unlimited things, it just, you, you have already ruined the experience for yourself. So who is item spamming for? In my opinion, it's for people who are either lazy, just want a quick experience, or have very limited time. As a final note, the program itself does say experimental, and it does suggest you may need to run the program as administrator. But for me, I was over the moon when I found this solution because now you can actually use Amiibos. So there you go, people. A cool way to get Amiibos to work. As a final, final note, I would like to let you know for the purpose of transparency, after I closed my session using the memory editor, I suddenly had a lot of crashes in Simu. Now, I never suffer crashes so this might have just been bad luck this might have just been coincidental but once again back up your files graphic packs saves everything that's important to you and then play with this memory editor i'm not entirely sure what was causing my crashes but maybe it was a program conflict i'll provide all the links that you need down below 
So that will include the program and it will also include NFC Bank, which is where you get your Amiibo files. I've been the Complaining Gamer. Have an awesome day. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, have fun and I'll catch you next time.